Hi, I'm David Simonson. I'm a marriage and family therapist in the Seattle, Washington area. And one of the things that happens often in the area that I live in is we have overcast skies and we have a lot of rain. And if you're from California, you don't want to move here because it's too rainy and cold for you. Stick around in California. Um, one of, the, one of the things that often happens with people, they get seasonal affective disorder, which is often called SAD. And so this disorder is kind of like a depression, but it's based on the seasons. And so what, there's several things that you can do. Um, there's a drastic thing, you can move. Move to Arizona, move to California, move to some place where the weather is gonna suit you much better and you're not gonna suffer from SAD as much or, or at all. Um, another thing you can do is you can buy lights um, and there's special lights that you can have. You can take to work with you even that give you the vitamin D's and the, and the, the, the rays of light will help your mood better, uh, be better. There's also medication you can take, um, but if that's not something you want to do and moving isn't something you want to do, the light um, plan is probably something that you should do. Now, if you're a friend of somebody that has SAD, one of the things you do is just have a conversation with them about it. Um, they may not even know that they have it. And so if you can have a conversation and say, hey, I noticed that when it's kind of dreary out, your mood kind of changes, what's that about? And if you're a good enough friend with them, you should be able to have a, a good conversation with them where they can go to a therapist and, or a psychologist or, or licensed professional and get diagnosed and then get some help for the seasonal affective disorder. Because if you have it and it's undiagnosed, your life could potentially be miserable. But once you get help for that, your life could tr change dramatically and in a much more positive direction. I'm David Simonson with Help for Life.